Context toolbars now allow you to create rectangular and circular patterns. To do so, go ahead and select this surface here on this solid model. The context toolbar will appear. Select the robot. In the second context toolbar, make sure that the same dimension mode is selected. Holding down your control key on your keyboard, go ahead and select the arrow in which you want to create your instances. I'm going to select this one here. Drag it out to the distance you want. You can also change the number of instances by selecting in the count box and placing another numerical value. Let's put four. Now the distance you have here within our scale is going to be the distance between each instance. This is also including the original pad that you created. When finished, go ahead and either select the Enter key on your keyboard or select anywhere within an open area. Notice now we have four instances created. And if we look over to our history tree, we have a rectangular pattern. Next, let's create a circular pattern. To do so, go ahead and select your surface of your part or surface. Select the robot within the context toolbar. Now, in your second context toolbar, make sure that your same dimension is selected. In your second context toolbar, make sure that the same dimension is selected on. Also, make sure that you use a line or edge in order to create a rotation axis. One has been created here previously. Go ahead and grab the center of your robot using your left mouse key and drag and drop onto that line or edge. Notice now you'll get a different robot context toolbar here. Now, it is important that you hold down your control key on your keyboard and now with your left mouse button, select onto the new robot circular line and drag around to the distance you want. You can also use the scale arrow to set the distance or degrees that you want to move your instance. You also can place a different numerical value within the count box. Let's go ahead and select as 5. And when finished, either select the Enter key or click out in the open area to finish creating your circular pattern. When finished, select the center of the robot, drag it over to the side, and you are done.